Welcome back to Eidolon! We are right smack dab in the middle of Bellevue, I think it is. And we have a lot of reading to get to, I suppose. Uh, though, I think... Oh, I wasn't in focus, that's why there were no... There was no audio. I think... I read everything that I had to read, right? We just had something to find over here. Huh? Hello? Oh, I'm on, like, the wrong page. Yeah, I think I read all these, like, cult notes and stuff like that. I believe. I guess feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. If anyone remembers. Oh, too tired to run. But yeah, we had, uh... Where is it? Oh, wrong one. Oh, wrong one. This one to get to. Did I just see something up there as well? Thought I saw something else glint. Yeah, I can imagine there's probably a lot of collectibles in this area. I want to try and, like, get to that island as well, where you go across, like, a broken bridge. Surely there's a lot of stuff there. Maybe I was just supposed to, like, sleep or something. I don't remember if I said that, just like, double sleep next time. Yeah, I, I think I probably did double sleep next time, just so we could, uh, like, have more energy and run around. Uh, I don't really need to make a fire, I don't think. So let's just sleep. It's actually, all right, I'll, I'll keep moving a little bit now until it gets really dark. So I'll eat these berries. Yeah, a lot of creepy metallic noises going on here. Abbess? Abbess? I don't know. Cultist? The what? What? The Oh, the more I read... God damn it. Oh man, we start early here. The more I read about the Abbess, I don't know how to pronounce it, the more dedicated I become to her cause. She is the true prophet, unlike those demons, demon freaks who spout falsehoods and try to sway people toward the beacons. How can people... How can people glowing be natural? How can people allow themselves to become so infatuated, so obsessed, that they turn away from God in favor of those imposters. The uh, abbess isn't like them. She is the embodiment of strength and virtue in a world almost devoid of both. People don't need strength of body or character when they let their backbones atrophy, supported instead by those glowing stones. I can only nest, rest easy when I remember that John St. Pierre has a plan. Yeah, cursive, my favorite as well, yeah. Again, that's uh, so far my, like, main complaint with this game. I just wish there was plain text when you're, like, reading stuff. That would be lovely. Just having the option to just get it in an easy-to-read font when you, like, click on it or whatever, hit E on it, anything. That would be very welcome. All right, uh, I guess I'll just sleep without a fire here. And I'm hungry. And then next time we'll make a fire and I'll try and like cook the remaining meat. Let's try and get up on this hill. Maybe we can see something from above. Hopefully the mist will have cleared by then as well. Probably not. It's a bone. Nothing all the way up here. Yeah, 
I kind of need this mist to piss off. Might just have to sit around a little bit. Because I want to, like, scope out what's happening out here. Yeah, like, there's the island. Down here is the bridge, I think. Somewhere. But I can't really see anything. Kind of scary. I imagine you would just, like, slide down here and probably break your legs or worse. Though fall damage does seem pretty lenient. It takes a while before you actually take damage. I think it's starting to clear up. And that's just the outer wall where we came in. Back to raining. Oh, getting some. Yeah, I'm getting some weird frame drops in this game as well. Hmm. I don't know what's happening. Like, just stutters for like a second and then it's fine. That was happening in Guacamelee too. Yeah, there's the bridge that we'll definitely want to cross eventually, but maybe I want to kind of scope around the overall city before we do that. Or, I mean, then again, surely we have to make it off this island, so maybe it's actually better to just uh, go there now and then loop back across the bridge again and then explore the rest. I wonder if jumping takes more stamina. Because I guess you can, like, maintain your momentum. This is the, like, MLG strat. Because if I just look here, I'm just walking at this point. But if I sprint and then jump, I maintain this momentum and then I can, like, take a quick peek at something in the distance. Yeah, that, that's the strat. Gotta quick scope your binoculars. Okay, it's a bit too jarring to do that. Probably better to get like an overview. You also have to look for a little bit of time before you like see any glint. Yeah, right here. All right, let's check this out. Surely there, there's something kind of significant across here. At least more reading. It's a very small car, isn't it, compared to me? I guess maybe not. I suppose that one was just like embedded in the ground. Also, can I do something like this where I open this? No. Where I press escape, and then caps lock. Am I running now? Yeah, okay. If you press escape, you can just, like, toggle caps lock. I, I just don't like having caps lock on when, like, playing games. Some games do this, where it's, like, toggle run. Like, I remember this from uh, early Elder Scrolls. Well, not early, but just Elder Scrolls games. Like Skyrim and Oblivion and stuff. It's just, it always bugged me to turn on caps lock and see that light just shining up. Letting me know that I'm I'm screaming right now internally in every action I do. I just don't want it active. Can't see anything here, but maybe across the hill. There we go. Oh. The Sanctuary, the Memorial, 
8-14-2075, posted by Sir Sir, Nun, Sir Nunos, Sir Nunos. This time around, we got a skeleton crew, just like, just Res, Nikal, N Nikal, and I. Even Thon? What? Even Thon Lamb didn't want to join us. Here's what we did. We freaking broke into the Mercer Sanctuary. Best part is, we made it back without being shot. Okay, let's go back to, to the beginning on this one. Nikal, oh man, this seems like it's gonna be quite a lot. I'll just read it, like, in between walking places, I guess, for now. Nikal had the idea first. She wanted to see what the sanctuary was really like. You live so long outside a gate, you gotta know what's behind it. We went over the 90 span, over to the 90 span, and just stared at the bridge for a bit. There are two checkpoints on either end, a few guards and a gate on our side. Was that something? No. Uh, Res had this idea, though, to go under where the en Enatai, Enatai parking lot is and crawl along the cables that bring power to Mercer. Hold off. Yeah, I know I saw something right there, yeah. Didn't I? Didn't I just see a flash? I thought I just moved and saw something blink. Like, over here. Probably out here, at least. I know we saw something, like, way out in the water. And I don't know how you even get there? Wouldn't you just die of... hypothermia beforehand? Hold on. Snack break. Uh, it took us a bit to get across, but the thrill of looking down at the fall kept us going. We dropped off at Barnab Barnaby Point. Where the old pier was, and had to run to the tree line before patrols noticed us. First thing I noticed was how short all the buildings are. Everything in Central is 50 stories easy. The mall towers are all over 100. But here... Let's hold off. What's with that new tag suck tag? I've, I've only had it this and the last stream, because Twitch changed their tag system, and it sucks. It's just really bad now, and I don't know what the hell they're thinking, or why they did this. Because now, you can no longer have, like, you know, centralized tags that everyone knows about. Like, the no spoilers, no backseating, or Let's Play, or 100%, which I used to use a lot. I, I would always use those tags, because then, like, people that filter by tags would find my stream, and then they could check it out. Now, they just scrapped all of that. Now, you only have custom tags, so you have to write your own tags, and you can't include any special characters whatsoever, or spaces, so it's just like tags in, uh, like, uh, hashtags in, uh, on Twitter and YouTube, I guess. And it's just really bad, because that just means no one is gonna search for the tag. Like, if you write a tag that, that you think describes your stream, no one else is gonna search for that tag, because it's not, like, in a list of tags, it's just... They have to just type out the tag looking for a stream of that tag. No one's going to do that. I don't understand. It's a terrible system. So uh, I will just have new tags suck for a while, I guess. Everything was one or two. We saw a couple taller than that, but not many. There were some memories, too, of when we lived in old Bellevue. Uh, how wasn't this Bellevue? I, I guess this is Bellevue. They're talking about Central, which, which is a different city. A house with a driveway and a, and, and a yard. There was so much green space here that it had me paralyzed. Res and Nikal urged me on, though. We've all heard stories of the patrols here. We didn't go too far south, but we saw plenty of the houses and streets along 90. We took a rest up at Aubrey Davis Park. 
ran through green space like it was the set of a pre-Quake movie. The best part of this whole trip, though, was the memorial. Just west of the park, there's this last stretch of 90 that clears the sanctuary and juts out over the empty lake. Back before the beacons, a memorial was built on the end of it. The whole edge of it was reinforced and this statue was put up. My parents remember coming here before everything, but I was too young. It stopped the three of us in place. Remember your history books, kids. Everything used to be so much worse. Okay, that's not like the Statue of Liberty or something, right? Because we're in Washington, so... I guess not. Or are... Which which Washington are we in? I, I don't know, man. I don't know anything about, like, American geography. Because I know there's Washing the Washington State, but then there's also a Washington City, which is completely different. I don't know. I assume this is the state. Just west of the park. Where is the park? Where are we now? So that might be, like, this thing over here? That thing might be the rem uh, remnants of it? Oh god! Did I wait, did I write no spoliers? <laughs> Damn it! Okay, thanks for pointing that out. Oh no, I didn't. Okay, I thought you were pointing out that I, like, misspelled it and wrote no spoliers, because I, I definitely could see myself doing that. Yeah, that, that's gonna happen too. You can just, like, typo your tags, and then if someone would have searched for that tag and found you, they won't find you now. So, yeah, that's great. Uh-huh. This memorial was not built to remind us, for we will not forget what has happened in Seattle, nor is it to commemorate those who lost their lives, for they will always be held in our hearts. We don't need a statue for that. We need a statue, as a community, and as a nation, to remind us that we are all unified. This was not a disaster that affected Seattle, not only... Hmm? Okay, not only the Pacific Northwest, but all of the West Coast, and indeed the whole nation. Every American citizen today has felt heartache, has suffered, and knows that they are not alone in that. We build this memorial as penance, if only we could have acted sooner, if only we had known. We build this memorial as the work it is, to remember that America is a place of hard work and no disaster will turn us from that. And in, and in this stone, we put our own heartache to make the burden a little lighter. Eli Woolmerth, 47th US President. Ah, I see. Too tired to run. Well, I guess since I'm too tired to run, maybe we should just make camp. Let's make a camp here. Let's cook this meat and have a little snooze. Double snooze. Yeah, that seems pretty good because it's like just a single meat fills the stomach entirely, so you can double double sleep, get double hungry, and then, like, waste way less food than if you ate meat twice. Yeah, that's very good. Now, though... I guess let's just check up on this hill quick. See, I'm not sure I want to try and get all the way out there in the water just yet. That seems hard to get back from. I feel like I would at least want to explore more of the city first. Hungry again? Okay, maybe you don't fill up completely. It might have just filled, like, just barely above half. So, never mind. Yeah, I think I'll just make my way back and we'll check out the rest of Bellevue. And then we'll come back here again, probably. Or maybe I want to go, like, around. Come from this side and go out on the, like, peninsula thing. Not too sure. Oh, god. That was close.
Let's just check the other side. Yeah, don't see much. What was that sound? This game is really good at unsettling sounds. Just that feeling of like hearing something that is probably nothing, but it still make puts you on edge. Makes you a little nervous. Anything of note? Can't see anything right here. Let's just like try and stay on the high ground. Just so we can like scope out more of the terrain. Surely there's something in here. I guess that's just a building, so maybe not. Yeah, checking inside those buildings is going to be important, because they're hard to see inside of, from outside. No, oh, there's something. I almost missed that. Yeah, can't see anything else, but here we go. There's he another one? No. All these bones are just like looking like stuff. Cult notes? Nope. Like a a newspaper. Earthquake. University of Washington relocates to Bellevue by Lorencia Henner. Uh, I guess we'll once again, I think it's a good idea to do this kind of thing where I just don't read stuff now. We just collect stuff during the day, and then once I get tired. We can just sit down and read, and then we double sleep, and then it'll be, like, closer to actually morning where you can see shit. The only problem with that is it'll just be a lot of reading in one go. Anything in here? Nope. And this doesn't have collision, does it? If you, like, jump up here? Oh, wow, it does have collision. Huh. Well, I, I doubt there's, like, any point. Maybe? Maybe there's gonna be a place where you can, like, go up on a rock or something and jump onto a a floor and there's going to be something. Techno houses. Sick. Not much wildlife here. You would kind of expect a bunch of animals to, like, make use of these ruins. It's like free real estate. Right there. Yeah, let's just go straight for that. And then we have a big forest here as well. Or is this a park, maybe? This might be the park they were talking about.
Are these honey trees? No. Don't think so anyway. Okay. I wonder what the difference is with these, like, technological logs. I guess they're just way, way more modern. We're picking up some, like, electronic stuff. Oh, alright. That was quick. Yep. Way more. We get some mushrooms as well. I'm almost certainly gonna miss stuff in this place. Like, it's gonna be impossible to make sure I collect everything. Because there, there could just be stuff hidden around every corner, basically. They do seem to put all of these logs and stuff. Oh, well, I was just gonna say, in mostly open places, not like underneath here and whatever, but I guess not always. This one is kind of sneaky. Wow, we will have one hell of a reading story time come bedtime. I want to go more towards here and like keep hugging the left wall more or less so I don't get lost and like comb through it more efficiently. Oh, never mind. New gold spotted. Yeah, there's just so much to read here, which makes sense. Ah, rotten mushrooms. And we're too tired to run. Let's, let's just keep eating the mushrooms. Seems to be it. Alright, I guess we'll uh, walk and read. So, this one. Lorenzia Henner, staff reporter. In the wake of the Seattle Mega, Mega Thrust Earthquake, the University of Washington will be relocating its main campus to Bellevue, Washington. Okay. Wait, is WA not Washington? I don't know, man. The October 19th earth earthquake left the Seattle campus in ruins, says Vice. I guess, is Bellevue in Seattle? How close are Seattle and Washington? I, I, again, I don't know anything about American geography at all. It's been way too long since, like, whatever it was, 8th eighth, eighth grade geography class. Uh, says Vice, Provost? Provost? I don't know. For planning and budgeting, Howard the Louisville, Louisville, it is in the best interest of our students that we pick up the pieces and build a bright future for them as soon as possible," said Louisville in a statement to the press. Some pushback against the decision has come from the Seattle Unified Front, United Front, SUF, an organization that aims to preserve Seattle's place as the center for commerce and education in Washington state. I guess Seattle is in Washington. Who knew? Probably a lot of people. Suff, let's just call it Suff President LaRon Brown, has spoken out against the University of Washington for its decision to leave Seattle behind. It's cowardice on the, the part of the administration that they won't fight for their city, said Brown in, in, in an interview. Suff has been in conflict with several large businesses and organizations in the days since the Megathrust earthquake, 
including the taxpayer-funded Reach Corporation. Reach plans to relocate to Bellevue within the year. Okay, I think this is where we'll stop for the night. Let's just have a quick look while there's still some daylight. Wow, all the way up there, huh? Oh, and there's a second one. Only two, or are there more? Okay, so let's just confirm. Always, that's like mostly south, slightly southwest, just so we know. And I, I'll just like make a campfire here, because I'm sure we're going to be reading for a while. No, nope, wrong one. The past two weeks have been impossibly difficult for what remains of Seattle, said Eileen Montgomery, spokesperson for the mayor's office. We are still mourning our incredible losses, but we need to look to the future. In the same statement, Montgomery assured Seattleites, Se Seattle? yeah, Seattleites that the mayor's office would remain active as long as people remi remained in Seattle. The University of Washington's administration insists that the move is in the best interest of their students but their views on the issue go even further. The Leville's statement to the press went on to say, Seattle will never be what it was. It is not disloyal or cowardly to admit that our once great city lies in ruins, that we have lost too much here to go on. The decision to abandon our Seattle campuses was not made lightly, but we firmly believe that it was the right choice. Furthermore, we believe it is in the best interest of all of Washington State for the rest of Seattle to follow suit. Leave this place to those who, who we have lost. Suff plans to release a response to the Vice Pr Provost Tuesday evening. And more. No? That's it. Yeah, okay. I need some water. One second. I wonder if it's something where these things that you collect are sequential, like the the notes and stuff you find in the place that they're placed or something. Maybe this is the more like overarching story of what happened after all of this stuff. And regardless of which order you collect these in, you will always get like one, two, three, four, maybe. Maybe not. Because this one is five, then two. I don't know. Okay. I will return in the morning with a sizable cardboard box of supplies, hand broom and dustpan, restaurant grade food processor, a canvas, a palette, and my paintbrushes and pigments. The ones in the studio are too old to use, and I can't leave mine there for fear, fear of the place being found. I will make certain the kiln has finished firing, and I will open it to reveal her blackened remains. The whole place will smell like burnt meat. I will remember my bewilderment from the first time when I discovered that human remains mostly retain their shape following cremation. I will hesitate but a moment, wondering what it feels like to be saved. The hand broom and dustpan will not be enough to hold all of her, nor will the food processor. It will be a slow process. Oh boy. But um, that's the, the best urn they can get, I suppose. But I'm well aware that most great art takes time. Art? I will take care, when sweeping her remains into the dustpan, not to spill her on the floor. The grinding might be messy, and it will certainly be loud. It will take trial and error to determine the correct amount of water to mix in. What are you doing? And I will lament not practicing this part the first time. When I do get it right, I will set up my easel and- She's making a painting out of someone's remains? Okay. And begin mixing the pi pigments. I mean, maybe it was her last wish or something with the ash on my palette, and then I will begin to paint. The first few strokes will be ungainly, an injustice, an, in, da, an injustice to a memory forever imprinted on the canvas, but I will reassure myself that the next one will be immaculate. I will be meticulous in shaping Olivia's features, capturing the gentle arch of her brows and the indolent curve of her small mouth. I will take particular care in shaping her eyes, 
Im imagining them as they were without fear. When it comes time to mix the pigment for her irises, I will find a myrtle green missing from my box. I will ransack the cupboards, knowing quite well that I will find nothing closer than hooker's green. Wow. On their shelves, feeling pretty hungry. And even that will be dried out and all but useless. I might allow the empty rage to take me momentarily, might kick a table leg until my toes bleed or pitch the traitor, traitor pigments across the room, but eventually I will resign myself to inadequacy. I will finish the painting and tidy the room, washing the food processor, paintbrushes, and palette. Now they're spelling palette with two T's, off in the great plastic tub that serves as a sink, and returning each item neatly to the cardboard box. As I leave, my eyes will slide over the walls and floor, lingering even after the lights have been shut off. When I return home, I will bleach the fruit food processor and tuck it away in a cabinet in the kitchen. I will lay the hand broom and dustpan on the floor of the utility closet and organize the paintbrushes into a drawer by size and function. I will balance the canvas gingerly on the ledge in front of my television and study it for more than an hour, tracing the careful lines with my eyes. My only regret will be that I left my myrtle green pigment at home and couldn't mix the perfect bottle green. When they take my statement, what will I say? My work transcends mercy? Or, well, my work transcends mercy. That's what you will say. Killer. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, let's go find the killer! I see. So it was not her last wish. It's just some kind of psychopath. Great! Cernunos. Mm-hmm. Killer again! That was the fire, was it? God damn, man. Fate must have lent itself to me, as I'm not... I We really should be reading these in, like, order, I guess. It's kind of a shame that I'm finding them out of order. Fate must have lent itself to me, as I'm not often found reading the daily. But I picked it up in between classes, so something other than my growing hunger might accompany me on the bus, bus ride home. It's usually esoteric garbage punctuated by mildly interesting articles on popular science, but one editorial stood out. The voice was fluid and leisurely, and above all, honest. It read like prose poetry, and had it spoken on the subject of sewage treatment, I would have been equally enthralled. I was actually about It was actually about literacy rates in Brasilia shantytowns? A topic I cared very little about until I read the name printed in byline italics beneath the title. Olivia Ribe Ribeiro? I don't know, Ribeiro? Certainty was not instant as it had been the first time. Perfection requires more vetting than me mediocrity. Thankfully, Olivia had made herself something of a public figure on campus. A simple rifle through the back, back issues of the daily revealed her in her a warmth of character that I had known only once before. Her previous editorials were sim similarly altruistic in nature to the first I had read, and I could track the development of her prose through time. Her passion for language was likely the first nail in her coffin. The second was how she used it. Elise would have been a journalist too. I watched her for weeks to be sure, but in hindsight I am certain of the moments I knew. What? In hindsight, I'm certain of the moment I knew. Huh? It was nearly... Hey, at least we're getting this in plain text. That's nice. It was nearly a fortnight after I discovered the first article, and I was trailing her home from the gym she visited daily. An inky dusk had settled over us, obscuring my already shadowed form from view. The swollen air was somehow soothing, allowing me to all but forget the hollow pang in my gut and actually bother to worry about an unfinished painting due the following day. I let my mind idle, and had it not been for an angry driver honking at my negligence as I jaywalked to keep up with my target, I might not have witnessed that moment that truly transcended time. A prunish homeless man huddled next to the stoop of her building, which by then I was fairly familiar with. I hadn't seen him there before, surrounded as he was with the detritus of his meager life, detritus, I don't know. He would have been difficult to overlook. She was about to pass him by when a calloused hand reached out from beneath his pile of soiled blankets, grasping at nothing, and a windy groan escaped him. She paused. 
It was after she fished the loose change from her pockets and deposited it in the dog bowl next to his heaping nest that I saw it. She bent down before the man, grasping his weary hand in her own, and became Elise. My sister's features gleamed through Olivia's skin, and the light from a spring day that lives vividly in my memory cast them both in silhouettes. It lasted mere moments, but I still see it every time I blink. It seems insane to think that I waited so long after witnessing such a sign. It should have been so obvious. Great! I like this guy. He seems fine. Let's read the, the fourth one and go back to the other one. Oh boy. <laughs> this game is hard for, on my throat. I can't, like, read this much in just, like, one go. My voice just, like, dies in, you know, 30 minutes of reading. I don't think I will forget my sister's face as long as I live. I know it from every angle, maybe even better than I know my own. But there is one way I remember it best. It was springtime, and she took me out on a picnic in Deer Run Park. That day lives bright in my memory, brighter even than the sun in my eyes as we drove there. I'd forgotten my sunglasses, which Elise chastised me for. It's terrible for your eyes, you'll be blind by the time you're my age. I smiled, happy only that she cared enough to scold me. The trees seemed taller that day. A light breeze shifted my hair about, tickling my shoulders. I remember Elise brushing a lock out of my face and smiling with a smile wider than the ocean. She never smiled unless she meant it. I helped her lay out the picnic blanket safe in the shade of a broad oak tree. The light filtered through the leaves and made a dappled pattern on the blanket, and the shadows danced when the breeze ruffled its way through the branches. We set out the plastic plates and silverware like it was Sunday brunch, and she doted, doled out a sandwich each, along with some egg salad and vinegar chips. She had made the lemonade herself from scratch. I like to live through the whole memory, but the part that I like best is when she finished pouring the lemonade into the clear plastic cups, leaned forward so her face was close to mine, and said, Cassie, let's watch the clouds. The sun lit up. I guess I don't like this guy, I like this gal. The, the sun lit up her round face and glinted off the yellow in her ha hair. Her eyes were squinted, whether with mischief or in defense against the sun, I've never been sure, and laugh lines spread from their corners. We did watch the clouds, pointing out the shapes we saw and creating their stories, but mostly I just remember how she looked at me like I might have hope of someday being as perfect and brilliant as her. Oh boy! Great! Terra Dun, four hours ago. Like, actually four hours ago? From from now or just when it was written, no like uh, keyword here. Went down to the NYC pits under Red Hook. Shit was necro. Visiting the city, friend took me down. Said I had to see what they had going on. Never seen anything like it. First off, the people totally crowded except this roped off square area, and the bar in the corner. Got offered a few hits of more from some scuffs by the bathroom. Said no, of course. I heard what that shit does, especially when you buy it in places like this. Before I even sat down, some troops all decked out in their blade tags. But... Huh? Before I even sat down, saw some troops all decked out in their blade tags, but didn't go say hi. Left mine... This is why punctuation is important, kids! Left mine back home and was only wearing drone clothes. But anyways, the fucking fights. First off was just some hand-to-hand. -hand. A huge MMA vet versus this jacker fresh off his first shock box circuit. The fresh meat went down hard, face to the concrete. Pretty sure I saw some bone. Vicious. Second one was where it's at though. Some roided freak. Freak eyes. Freak eyes red with some chem shit came in and they lowered the floor. Once it was down about 10 feet, they let in a straight cougar. Not any kind of starved dog or anything small. Nothing weak like back home. Dude lost, of course. The thing got at his neck. And they had to wrangle it away before he actually got killed. How badass would, would that have been? I've heard stories. Last off, there was two thin... Was these two thin guys. In it for the fun or whatever. Was this fight club? They were given knives. First of ten wounds, I guess. But the red-haired one threw one at his opponent. Missed and cut my cheek open. Bet I'm getting a sick scar for that. Man, this guy is so cool. Thought they banned projectiles, but maybe... Wait. 
Oh, shit. Threw one at his opponent? Like, knives? I see. Maybe New York is different. Gotta say, though, if you're ever around there, ask someone who might know a way in. I was blindfolded and let, let down an alley. Let down? Not led? Salve had to give them a password. Still a little jacked from watching it, but I can't wait to get back home. Maybe I'll try the Philly pits out if I get the chance. Wonder if they go easy on newbies. Oh man. I actually think... Uh... It's like, it's morning, it's kind of inconvenient. Because I, I don't, I want to rest, but then it's going to be like midday. I mean, I guess that's fine, but I actually think I'm going to... Can you even pause this game? If I do this, is it still going? Let's just eat just in case. I actually really want to like go make some tea, like lemon honey ginger tea or something. Because yeah, my, my voice is not doing too hot. And we probably have, like, maybe not quite an hour, but a decent while longer. So, uh, I think I need that. So, uh, I'll be right back a couple minutes. Alright, I'm back. Sorry about that. And I guess I'll have some, uh, tea breaks from time to time now. It's gotta cool down a little bit first, though. So, uh, yeah, I guess you can actually pause the game by just hitting escape. So, that's good to know. Wait, but I'm hungry again. What? Wait, do you pause time but not hunger or something weird like that? That's strange, but I, I think I do want to actually sleep now because it should be kind of early and then it should be like evening. Yeah, it's evening now. More mushrooms and then we can go get these two. There's one there and one there. Yep. So, like, these times are probably perfect to drink tea, so I can just mute and do that. One of those rare moments where my making tea BRB is actually correct. It does not happen frequently. So we're there and right here, okay. Let's just leave that for now. Looks like more cult papers. Probably more cult papers. Uh. Oh god, okay. Was wondering if that was gonna hurt me. Oh my god. Wait, and? No, thought I saw a second one. God, there's so much to find. Uh, so I'll just try and walk here. I guess I'll just go as long as I have daylight here. We'll try and collect some stuff and then read it in the night. Hopefully it's not the same thing. Mushrooms? What? Where? I didn't even see anything. It's not going to be the same thing again where I read the entire night and then we have to sleep away the day. Because that's a bit of a problem. Where am I going now? Like southwest? Oh. Saw that. Right? Did I see that? I did see that, yeah, nice. Sometimes I think I'm crazy, but sometimes you're you're not crazy. Damn it, I was trying to drink tea. But I kinda need food, like pretty badly. Yep, 
I already feel like this is doing some work. And where where did we like where am I? I kind of lost track where where the like island was at this point. Where's the bridge and island? I want to say that was like in this direction, right? Like along this coast. Is that the coast? That's not even the coast. I am a bit lost already. Okay, and I think it's getting dark, so... Oh, that's just bones. Oh no. Wait, what? How did I... Huh? Okay, so... I guess spoilage is just kind of random, as far as I can see. Because I just picked up berries. I have not had any berries for a long time, and then just all of a sudden, old berries. So I guess you can pick them and they can just be old, or you can pick them and then, like, it's just random, a check happens and it's like, a portion of your berries go old, or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, so, uh, let's do some reading. Abbas, I, I still don't know how to pronounce it, Abbas, and the cultist. I hate Relune. I don't know. Reliune. I really do. I didn't... I didn't think I'd even say it, but what she did, I can never forgive her for it. My parents won't even let me see John St. Pierre on... Yakes? I don't know. Y Yakes on Doc... Oh, Pierre or Yakes or Docker? Is that a K? That's such a weird letter. It's not an L. It's not a J. It's not an I. It's not an uh, not a K. What the fuck is this letter? That's not anything. I guess Docker, Bishop, ever again, and all because John Saint Pierre likes me more than her. She says she's worried about me, but I know that she's only jealous. Now I will never get to lead a meeting, and I will never get to share the Abbas, Abbas's words with everyone. I just have to remember what she said. The devil works close to the heart. His influence is greatest where you think it could never exist at all. Do not let him blind you. Do not let him strike you down. God's love will drive him from the shadows and illuminate his deceit. Even though I'm grounded, John St. Pierre still found a way to contact me. It's a T? That's a T! So it's like... Doctor? Doctor Bishop? Yates? I guess? Oh man, it's so hard to read this. Uh, he told me I don't have to do what they say because I'm too smart and mature for them to be treating me like a child, and he's right. He told me I can come to his house and stay there as long as I want, and so I think I'm going to sneak out tomorrow night. Uh, Rue keeps trying to talk to me, but I'll never talk to her again. John St. Pierre said that she stopped going to the meetings. I should have known she didn't really believe. I haven't had any... any... Nuveen? Nuveen in three days, and, well, John St. Pierre will have some tomorrow night. I know he'll give me some, because he says he thinks I'm even more beautiful when I'm high. He says he thinks, This guy seems like a trustworthy priest, right, Saint? He says he thinks he can talk to God when he's high. I think Ruel... This is such a weird name. Ruel Yoon. Maybe it's double N? Like, Relin? Rulin? Rulin? Rulin. Let's say Rulin is getting jealous of me because John St. Pierre pays attention to me. She gets mad, John... John the... 
She gets mad oh, for the dumbest reasons, like yesterday she wouldn't talk to me for three hours because he asked me to stay after the meeting a little and talk to him and Dr. Dr. Bishop. Uh, after she finally did talk to me, she said she would tell, m tell my parents if she thought it was going too far, whatever that means. Anyway, I found out why Dr. Bishop is always talking to the people in charge, and it's because she might... She maybe found a way to destroy the beacons. Well, I guess she talks to scientists all over the world, and they found it together. But it's just so cool that I know someone who is going to be so... Uh, going to be historic. Gates told me to grow up, which was more than a little rude, if you ask me. I'm just trying to look out for the movement. I don't want anything to go wrong, and I know that John St. Pierre doesn't either. The Abbess was my only consolation when I got home. Well, maybe not the only one. Ruz Nuveen didn't... didn't hurt? Oh, Ruz Nuveen didn't hurt, I see. Uh, anyway, I need one... one of her speeches again. I, I read one of her speeches again, and it just made me more... more sure that she is a... there's a fucking, like, fruit fly in my face. That she is all but divine herself. The devil will try to tempt us. The devil will try to lure and snare us with promises that God won't make, and for good reason. What we used to believe to be sins are nothing compared to what we face now. What we face instead of our own mort What we face instead of our own mortality. Only God this fucking fly! I think I got it. Uh, only God should know infinity, because only God is wise enough to know it. Let those who would stand in the Lord's place know the Lord's power. Let those who would claim his, this wisdom, his wisdom, feel his righteousness. We are not meant to know that which he knows. Yeah, seems like everyone involved is kind of crazy or a sexual predator. So that's, that's lovely. I think it's dawning, but I might still go to bed now? Let's do it anyway. Yeah, okay, good. So it's like late morning now, probably. I wanna eat some of this meat, because uh, I don't think it's gonna last that much longer, but maybe then it, it does last. Maybe that's, if it's not based on time, I thought it was like time and randomness, like the longer the time goes, the more likely it is to go old, but maybe not. Maybe it's just purely random. I don't know where I'm going now, though. Because I, I guess west... West would be towards the sea. There's another fucking fruit fly, and it's bigger this time. God damn it, man. Oh, yeah. A lot of frame stutters. Oh, wrong one. Really weird hitch is going on, which is annoying. Are we back at the... the gates? Oh! Did I... I thought I saw something green. I don't know if I did, I'm gonna go this way. I was going this way anyway. Cause yeah, I think if we go west... Now I'm just going south. If I go west, I should hit the ocean, right? I also can't tell what's bones and what's, like, mushrooms. Because I do kind of need food pretty badly. What is this? What am I seeing? What am I looking at? There's something. 
Oh, it's the wall. Yeah, yeah. Haven't I been in this building? Maybe there's a very similar one, or I just missed this. Okay. More cultists. No, 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 you don't. No, 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 no. Stop. Run the other way. Come on. Come on! I lost my MLG aim from last time. Come on! You can't be serious! There we go! Good lord! I don't know. Couldn't judge distance at all there. But finally... Meets back on the menu. I think I just saw a tree. Yeah, I don't know, like, if I'm- if I hug this wall, do I come to where I started? Because I'm going... West? N no I came in from the southwest- southeast. So I guess I would go this way. Yeah, so I, I think I'm going not towards where I've been. But it's a little hard to keep track. Hopefully I don't stay muted for like 20 minutes at some point, because I'm muting to, to drink. I might forget at one point. Isn't this where I came in? So now I'm, no, it, it can't be, because I'm going west. Where was that map? Huh? Seattle is is the bridge? So I was in Seattle. Wait, where's the opening then? This must be where I came from. And I'm going southwest. So I guess this is this opening. Okay. And I think that's where I came in. So I, I guess I've just walked in a giant circle, but I mean, that's what I wanted to do. I want to like slowly expand and look through more stuff. But I just kind of like lost track along the way. Considering going across the water, 
There were some things to find there. I don't know if it's possible to hit birds in flight. Probably not. And even if you do, I don't think you can get anything. So wait, did I want to like go from here instead? Where did I see some like stuff? I know I saw some stuff like way out in the water and I thought that seemed ridiculous. Like out here or something. Yeah, I mean, I... Oh, God. That's annoying flashing. This all seems kind of ridiculous no matter where you come from, so maybe going across to Seattle is the best way? Or I can just go down this way, I guess. I don't know, man. Yeah, maybe I need to actually, like, leave Seattle and stock up on food again. Like, find some place that has berries and mushrooms and stuff. Because I guess that's not really growing in the city. So, I don't know why. Like, nature has taken over, so... Shouldn't there be some, like, berry bushes and mushrooms and stuff? Maybe there's something about the whole, uh... Beacon thing that's, like, preventing that. But, I mean, trees work fine, so I don't know. Well, I like how we, uh, I went and got tea to help with the reading, and then we basically did no more reading. I guess I have one thing to read. Yeah, I swear I saw something out here. From some- oh, I saw it, I saw it, I saw it, I saw it. Where? There. There it is. Oh my god, yep. I think that's the same thing I saw, and I have no idea how to get out there without dying. Like, can you actually go this entire way without dying from the cold? Running dangerously low on food. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, that was dangerous. Maybe across here? Yeah, I think before I go out there, I probably should try and find some food somewhere in this direction. Is this the road that we saw here, going up to Bellevue? I'm curious as well what happens if you just go the other way, if we go down here. Olympia? Is that over there? Are those mushrooms or skeletons? I can't tell. Oh, there's something. Okay. Hmm. 
Yeah, I, I, I'd like some animals. Should I turn up the, like, fauna gauge? Fauna density? I mean, this was, like, here by default, so I, I feel like I've already pulled it up a little bit. And I guess I don't really want to run into, like, 20 bears. That would be annoying, too. I think all of this is bones. Yeah, all bones. It's kind of hard to tell. Those are bones too, I think. Yep, still just bones. Well, I think I'll just get to this collectible, we'll read those, and then uh, that unfortunately has to be that. We'll have to try and find some food next time before I go out here. That'll be the main goal, like maybe going up in here. Surely there's some like mushrooms or berry bushes or something somewhere, or just animals, I hope. Oh. Are those bushes? Those might be bushes. Okay, this is wild girl. This is new. John St. Pierre showed me his secret today. He's been talking about it for weeks, saying he wishes he could tell me what it was, and he finally did. He took me down to the basement of the church and into a long, dark room with cement walls and floor. There was an oval-shaped table in the middle with chains all around it. Rue was there, too. I asked her if she knew what was going on, but it was her first time, too. Uh, more people arrived, even some I didn't know. Yates and Roth, Rothschild? Roth, Rothschild? I don't know. Rothschild? And that woman prince... Woman prince? Were all from the church. I wanted to say I told you so to Rue when the meeting started, but they said to be quiet. It was a top secret pro-death meeting. I knew John St. Pierre was a pro-deather. I knew he had plans, and soon I'll know what they are. Where were these uh, bushes? I, I guess we should sleep. Oh no, are these not berries? Have I been had? No berries? Oh no! Yeah, it's just a bunch of bushes, who cares? That sucks! No food! Oh man! Well, it's, it's like, unique landscape. We haven't seen this type of environment before. But that's an issue, alright. I guess I will probably go, like, in this direction, in towards the forest a bit more. We need to find something, so while I walk I'm just gonna read the last thing. 
Uh, should I even do that? Maybe I should just sit. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yep. I might just want to sit down. Let's try and read it like relatively quick. So, where'd it say? No, stop. Wild girl Senin Tria. I haven't seen you in a while. I have to admit, I was a little disappointed. Elden. Elder? Elden is no longer the company he used to be, and it's nice to have someone new to talk to, even if you don't talk back. My brother isn't really interested in what we have to offer the world anymore. I'm not sure what he's interested in, since he doesn't seem to want anything back from it either. I like having someone to tell my stories to. I must so sound so old. Still, my stories are practically all I have left. You are young and have few stories. You probably don't realize how young you are. It's strange to think that I still look like a child. I should be dust by now, but instead I'm a little girl. Even more of a mystery than the other Senin, too. Did you know that? We usually stop aging in our 20s, but I stopped when I was 14. I have some theories about that. Maybe I'll tell you sometime. Anyway, we stayed in Seattle for a long time. Longer than we needed to. Especially since we were close to our destination. It's pretty out of character for Elden to waste time like this. I thought he hated it out here. We still see the wild girl from time to time, though she doesn't seem to revere us like she used to. Did I mention that? When she first saw us, she followed us cautiously, fascinated by our effects on the world. I think she only saw the initial effects, the growth, and the way the animals gather around us. I have to admit, I was astonished by it at first too. Then she saw what happened when we left. We seem less like gods and more like demons when everything we touch dies behind us. I think we're a curiosity now, though it's hard to tell. She defies understanding. We're almost to Bellevue. Have you ever been there? I must say, I am rather nervous to be so close to our destination. I'm not quite finished out here, but I know Elden will want to get back to the city as fast as possible. I should get back. Elden is probably wondering where I am. Yeah, that's really interesting. Yeah, I'm, I'm very interested in knowing more about like what actually is going on here and stuff. I mean, you're seeing bits and pieces, but how far is it going to go? How deep is it going to go? No idea. But we'll leave it here for Eidolon for today. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll stream something else tomorrow.